one of today's cases is liposuction on a very skinny patient. When somebody is very skinny, one of the important things you have to do is not to take too much fat and not to make the layer too thin because otherwise you will see dents and irregularities, especially in the lower stomach. As we do this liposuction, I'm going to take 90% of the fat, not 100% of the fat, to preserve that thin layer to keep everything smooth. This is the first step. This is the numbing. Probably the most uncomfortable part of the whole operation. Now? Yeah, right now. This is what I was doing here. This is the worst part, but we're almost halfway done with it, okay? Really? Yeah, you're doing good. She didn't want new scars, so I am going through her previous scars, so she doesn't have any new scars. Right here and right here. That's where her previous scars was from another surgery that she's had. So her fat comes out very easily. So the main thing with her is not to create any dents in the skin. So you gotta be very careful because you're skinny too. This is the spot that you gotta be very careful not to take too much fat from here because then you can have deformity of the skin. I'm just kinda smoothing everything out. This is, I'm getting to the end of this. Right now, I wanna stop on the lower stomach. I think we got all the fat from the lower stomach. And then I think all the fat we got everywhere. Now we're just gonna do a little sculpting. I make a line from the xiphoid to the mid abdomen and on the sides to outline the rectus muscles. This is gonna be the last part of the stomach. I'm just gonna sculpt a little bit, which means that I'm gonna make a line. It will look like she's very fit. I mean, she's very fit, but she's gonna be a little more fit. For example, here, it's already coming out, the line. Now I'm gonna do the sides. It's already my cannula. That's why I'm kinda making the line there. Then same thing on this side. Then just make sure all the fat is gone. So when she's healed, the lines will come out and you'll be able to see. From her, she's skinny, but look, we got 700 cc's of pure fat. She barely had anything here. So now, time to get those love handles. Even if the person's skinny, it's impossible to get rid of these sometimes in the gym. But two minutes here and they'll be gone. I think I took all the fat from this side already. You see, it's just nothing but the cannula. Nothing but skin. Now the hand is very important to be cautious with how much fat you take because you do not want to take too much fat here, otherwise there'll be dents. Somebody who's skinny, very important not to cause any dents. It's a little challenging sometimes. So look, she's got good fat coming out. I got all the fat I want to get from the arm. Now I'm going to get the anterior axilla. I don't want to make an extra incision here, so I'm going to use the same incision to get all the way up there. So now, let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm going right for the waistline. I'm trying to make it as thin as I can. Here, also gotta be careful not to cause any dents. I'm taking the fat without messing up the skin. I'm almost there. Just a little bit. First part is done, the fat harvest was performed. I collected more than a liter and a half, 1500 cc's, and now I will inject everything or whatever fits. Sometimes only some of it is injected, but I'll see how much it fits because the butt is like a balloon. We'll see how much the skin stretches and um, that's how big she's gonna be. But this is what we have that we can possibly inject. Now I'm working on a hip. Hip dip and I will fill it in. So 
Well, I think we pretty much filled it up to the most she could probably be. I don't think any more fat is really gonna fit. So this is it. We put about 600 cc's on each side, the hip and the butt. Give her a little curve, give her a little projection. This area was already liposuction. She has the thinnest waist she can have. And then get some volume down here. 